Okay, so today we're going to talk about completing the square. Completing the square, the whole point is to take us from standard form to vertex form. And we're going to look at two different scenarios here. We're going to look at um, a standard form where a is 1, so you can see that there's nothing in front of the x squared. So a is 1 here, and then we're going to look at um, what happens if a is not 1, like in this example here. Okay, so something that's really important to remember while you're doing completing the square is that like we know what a perfect square trinomial is, right? So if I have a plus b squared, this is going to expand to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Or a minus b squared is going to be a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So you notice that the b squareds are both positive here, right? And you also notice that this a doesn't have a number in front of it, so um, its coefficient is 1. And you also notice that if this is positive, then this 2ab is positive. If the, there's a minus in between, then this 2ab is going to be negative, okay? So those are really important things to remember as we go forward. So the whole point is to try to get to a stage where we get a perfect square trinomial. That way we can um, factor it and it will be a perfect square, right? So let's look at x squared plus 6x minus 7 x squared plus 6x minus 7. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the first two terms and I'm going to factor out the a, but in this case I don't have an a. So I'm going to take the second um, coefficient and I'm going to divide it by 2. So 6 divided by 2 is 3 and then I'm going to square it. Okay, so this is 3 squared. 3 squared is 9, right? So I'm going to add and subtract 9, and I'm going to put it all in brackets. So x squared plus 6x. So you notice I'm just keeping these two things. I'm just copying them in. And I'm just going to add 9 and subtract 9. Okay? And you'll notice, again, my negative 7 is here. So the only thing I've done is add 0, right? Because 9 minus 9 is 0. So x squared plus 6x plus 9 minus 9 minus 7. So I'm just trying to get what I want because I want to get to a stage where it looks like either a squared plus 2ab plus b squared or a squared minus 2ab plus b squared, right? So I want the positive one of these and not the negative because b squared is always positive. So I'm going to kick the negative 9 out of the brackets. I'm having difficulty with my pen. Sorry about that. x squared plus 6x plus 9 minus 9 minus 7. Okay, now you can see that um, if I do the square root of 9, so that's going to be my b squared, right? b squared is 9, then b is going to be 3, right? And if you do 2 times 3 times x, then you get 6, right? 2 times x times 3 right, because my a is going to be x and my b is going to be 3. So that's where it comes from. So that's 6x, okay? So that's why this is going to factor to x plus 3 squared. And then I'm going to take my minus 9 and my minus 7. I'm just going to add them together. So I get negative 16, okay? So the vertex here is negative 3, negative 16, all right? Um, you can also see that it has a maximum because the a is negative is positive one. So because it's positive, uh, sorry, did I say a maximum? It has a minimum. <laughs> it's going to be opening upwards. So it has a minimum. The minimum value is the y value. The minimum value is negative 16. So it depends what the question's asking you, right? But uh, I'm just kind of making up my own question here. Okay, I'm just going to change colors here because we're getting mixed up a little bit. Okay. So I want to do y equals 5x squared minus 30x plus 4. So we're going to use a very similar method. So again, first thing we're going to do, factor up the a value. In this case, a is 5 and not 1, 
And I'm going to do it only out of the first two terms, so x squared minus 6x. Okay? And then that plus 4 is just going to hang, hang around. Just like this minus 7, it's just sort of hanging out until we get to the end. So we're going to keep that 4 till the end, just hanging around, okay? So negative 6 divided by 2 squared is going to be negative 3 squared, which is positive 9, because negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. So we're going to add and subtract a 9 inside of the brackets. This is like adding and subtracting, well, 0. x squared minus 6x plus 9 minus 9 plus 4. Okay, so again, that 4 is just hanging out. And now, I want to kick out the negative one, because again, I want to keep the positive b. So I'm going to do 5 times x squared minus 6x plus 9. To kick out that negative 9, I need to multiply it by the 5. Okay, so 5 times negative 9 is negative 45 plus 4. Okay, now I can factor this. So 5, x, mi x squared minus 6x plus 9, so I'm going to x minus 3 squared. So here you can see I got a positive, so that's why this is positive. Here this is negative, so that's why this one's negative, okay? Minus 45 plus 4, my negative 45 plus 4 is negative 41. Okay, and now I am in vertex form. So the vertex is 3, negative 41. And again, A is positive, which means that it's opening up. A is 5, which means I have a minimum value of negative 41. Okay, and that's how you do it. Hope that helps. And